Dallas liked to take things apart and uh, put them back together again. He liked fishing, he liked climbing, he liked everything to do with nature and him and his dad would go hunting together and do stuff together. Dallas's passion for mechanics and the outdoors led him to join the Navy after high school graduation. It was just a, a, just a very proud moment, very proud moment. Several months later, her pride turned to fear. I received a phone call from one of my coworkers that my son had been injured and had, he is in critical condition. They didn't expect him to live. Dallas had been working underneath his car when the jack dislodged and the vehicle fell on top of him. As soon as um, the dispatcher told me what had happened, the words out of my mouth was, oh, not my son, please, not my son. Colleen drove through the night to be at her son's side. To lose uh, a child uh, in a tragedy uh, is something that no one can understand or figure out why it happened. You just have to accept it somehow or another. But at that time, I, I really, I had no idea what I was about to see or go through. Everything inside his face had bursted on the inside and had to make its way out. So he was bleeding from his eyes, his nose, his mouth, and his ears. Miraculously, Dallas survived thanks to blood from donors. If it hadn't been for blood, he would not be alive today. Today, he's 27. He suffered some brain damage from the accident, but he's doing well, and he's proud of people like his mother who donate as often as possible. Other people see as giving blood a painful thing. I see it as the simplest way to give back to every human being that needs their life saved. I'm Nancy Gay for Florida's Blood Centers, where local heroes are saving lives.